I'm Scott Schober, author of Hacked Again and Chief Security Officer at Cybercrime Magazine. I recently evaluated Senye Segura's Privileged Access Management, or PAM, solution, the 360-degree privilege platform. To learn all about it, visit senyesegura.com. Senya Segura's PAM aims to protect and control the use of generic and privileged credentials, providing secure storage, segregation of access, and full traceability of use. Credential is considered privileged access when it has broad rights, which include changing, removing or deleting files and programs, contacting relevant data, or having access to systems. Their PAM solution was designed to effectively prevent cyber attacks carried out through privileged credentials and data leakage, as well as to ensure compliance with evolving data protection legislation. You might wonder, why is this important? Once a cyber criminal has access to your privileged account credentials, whether outside your organization or even an insider threat, they can go anywhere and are hard to identify. Cyber criminals know that privileged accounts are the key link to any successful attack chain. Senya Sergora offers a security layer inside the network. Let's dive in and take a closer look. I like the simple login that's truly secure. There's a nice authenticator extension using the Chrome extension. You put in a one-time password and they offer a wide selection of secure authenticators, which is great. Users begin at the main landing page or homepage and it's well-organized dashboard, allowing ample settings without a lot of clutter. This page clearly shows all the access credentials as an administrator. You notice the top box, you can enter in all your filters, which is handy. You can see some credentials are pre-populated. Each device can have multiple credentials attached to it, and every credential has a device associated to it, and each device can have multiple credentials. This is a comprehensive offering, but there was a lot of forethought put forth with regards to the ease of setting up and configuring the interface. Now, if you look at the PAM core header at the top, you can see all the modules and its granular solution where the customer can activate parallel or other modules that work with the same appliance. And if a customer wanted to subscribe to X number of users, they can receive the MySafe module, which is a personal password vault. This tracks all the important credentials within an organization. Discovery module makes it all the assets available inside the module. Discovery is a handy feature where if a new machine is brought into the environment, they will know all of the parameters. The task manager handles all the tasks and comes with the PAM core. The certificate manager is responsible for the entire life cycle of the digital certificates. This helps with the managing of the certificates. This gives you a bird's eye view of the status of the certificates by looking at this clean dashboard. It shows a cool risk radar here that shows how many days a particular certificate might expire. And this is a great gauge to see what the health of your certificates are within an organization. And you clearly see the number of days left on a certificate, when it might expire, and how many valid and invalid certificates you might have. Should the certificate soon to be expired, the certificate manager will help renew a certificate. This is a great feature as it allows one to stay on top of the certificates and reduce the organization's risk profile. Now, the DevOps secret management is a handy guide useful for pipelines and Kubernetes. These secrets can be easily managed with this module. The cloud identity access management enables them to reflect all the user credentials from a multi-cloud environment. It even allows for hybrid models. Now, looking at the credentials page, here's how you would deal with a normal access to an RDP machine. You see in the environment an admin account to be a Windows server. You can see the credentials are available to use. You can simply start a session by clicking on the notebook icon down there. And the session you notice is handled inside the browser. Santa Segura is an agnostic to the end product you're using. Regardless of your machine or which database, they focus on the protocol, which is a good advantage. Here's an example of opening a session using Firefox, close proximity and low latency. Say an administrator wants to see what you're doing. You can go back to the main page to the remote session tab 
and then you can check what's going on. The cool part is you can live stream to see where the user is actually doing at the other end. You see on the left side, you see what the user is actually doing, and on the right side, the administrator can see what they're doing. This is a really powerful strength that they offer, a real-time experience, again, with no latency, and it gives the administrator a clear look at what's going on. This is extremely helpful for training situations as they step someone through step-by-step step and perhaps freezing a session. With security and transparency, you can see even when looking at the log views, the administrator is even being logged as what they're doing. Everything is timestamped, which is great for an audit. Aggressive compression algorithm they perform. Tremendous amount of storage is really required for this. Now, here's a 60 minute recording and it only takes up a little more than a kilobyte. There is a comprehensive auditing command feature. They can actually predefine a set of commands that are low, medium, or highly critical. And this allows them to control the granularity. There's an interesting behavioral analysis view. You can see a user posture for each user. This gives you a history when they typically log on, how long they stay on, or if they're working on something critical. Different anomalies will stand out in their profile. And this helps when you're interrogating into other security solutions. Dashboard module depicts a clean interface to see how password changes are made, any errors, if there are any passwords are expiring. There's a slick threat screen that is useful. You see a risk score for each user. I really appreciated the thought that was put into this development of this comprehensive solution as it's rather easy to navigate since everything is well laid out. Users can grow with the PAM core modules as they learn more depth of the features. As we all know, time is money. And San Segura's deployment time is the fastest of any PAM offering on the market. Of course, with various PAM offerings on the market, they get extremely expensive. San Segura's PAM Core has the lowest total cost of ownership, but does not skimp on features. San Segura's PAM solution was designed to effectively prevent cyber attacks carried out through privileged credentials. If you want to keep your organization safe from cyber criminals, I highly recommend you take a closer look. To learn more about our sponsor, Sanye Segura, and their 360-degree privilege platform, visit sanyesegura.com.